Oh, Google has done something amazing. So last week I told you about how they included, they just sort of quietly inserted these agentic um, workflows that you could access through your Gmail. Now they've changed that and given it a proper name and called it Workspace Studio. In your Gmail, it looks like this, th this icon right here in the top right hand corner. So you can get there that way. Um, or you could just Google Workspace Studio or you could go to studio.workspace.google.com. If you, pay for Google Workspace. I think everyone who pays for Google Workspace has this. I can't imagine being in business and not paying for Google Workspace. So those are my, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, so let's take a look at this. First of all, when you come over here, you'll see all these groovy, amazing, useful templates that they've already created for us. Um, and they're really good. So like on this one, get a daily summary of unread emails. I could just qu click on that. And then what you'll see is that there's this like flow that's set up. And then on the right hand side for each step, that's where you can customize that flow. And so in this example here on step two, where it says recap unread emails, there's this prompt that says like, it's this really juicy detailed prompt. So it's done so much of the work for you. And you could just come over here and tweak it. Now, if I click add a step, check out all these things that are available to us. Not only everything in the Google ecosystem, but also other stuff like we can connect MailChimp and Asana and Salesforce. Um, and that's just the beginning. I didn't add that, they added that. So you know that they're probably gonna add more tools as time goes by. But also look at this, I can ask a gem, all right? So I can click that and, and add that into the flow. What is ask a gem? What is a gem? A gem is like a uh, custom GPT. And I'm not going to go way into that now, but it's like a little microprocessor that you set up to do really specialty tasks for you. Uh, and so I got super excited when I saw that I can attach um, uh, a gem into my workflows. That's just like pff, huge. Uh, so now let's go, I'll show you a couple of very simple agents that I have set up that really is going to make my life easier. So you'll notice this one is called Loom Receipts. So every time I get a receipt for one of my work expenses, I usually hit forward and then I forward it to my bookkeeper, which is actually an online bookkeeper called kick.co. I think that's it, K-I-C-K dot co. And, um, and I always send it to receipts at kick.co. And then I will typically type in there like what it is, like software or travel expense or whatever. Now, this does take a minute to set up initially, but I don't have to do it anymore after this. Because, yes, in, typically in Gmail, you always could add a label um, and you could filter emails like this. But this takes it one step further and actually sends it to my bookkeeper. So basically it's very simple. When I get an email and it has the words, your receipt from Loom Inc., then next step, forward an email to receipts at kick.co and the message should just say software. Okay, so now every time I get an email, what I do is, or a new bill, I come over here and I duplicate this. So now I would click here, where was it? a Loom Receipts, click duplicate or make a copy rather, and then go into that. And then whatever the new bill is, I just go in and edit it and right here and just paste the new, the new verbiage and turn it on. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. So go check out this Workspace Studio and let me know what you think. I think it's pretty amazing.